G'day everyone, Jason Nunn, Fisherman's Warehouse, Tuckawab Marks Point, with this Friday's fishing report. Not a bad forecast for the weekend, guys. Obviously, we're going to have a little bit of like a like an east nor'easter, and of course, turning into a little bit of a northerly on Sunday. Um, but generally fine, and 30 odd degrees both days, even travelling in to Monday. Tides this weekend, of course, low tide around about 7 o'clock, 7:30 on Saturday morning, with a high tide coming through around about. 1 o'clock, but they're not big tide differentiations this weekend. The low tide's around about 0.57 and the high tide's only like 1.43. So it's not a big run in this tide situation. Offshore looking pretty good. Some results from last week, obviously with the shootout at Port Stevens, which Alex and I had an opportunity to go up and compete in. Uh, 205 kilo blue marlin was the heaviest of the blue marlin categories. And of course, Scott Thorrington on Freedom uh, one on count back to uh, our local boat. Lucky Strike with the Norris boys um, on 14 fish, sorry 12 fish for the two days. But the inshore bite up there on the Black Marlin had sort of backed off a little bit come Saturday and into Sunday. We were lucky enough to tag a couple of blues on the Saturday and a nice black drop, a couple of blues. So there was plenty of activity out there. The current at the present moment on the shelf, around about 300 fathoms. We've got this downhill current running in around about 25 and a half, probably up to 26 degrees in patches three and a half knots really tearing through but when we got back onto the shelf that current had started to abate and that's where I think it's going to happen over the next sort of month or so they looked like there was a bit of bait starting to stack back up on the shelf so there was definitely some blacks there we dropped a few nice black marlin there late on Sunday afternoon but I think with that current backing off and the bait stacking up but there's still plenty of game fishing to be had I think these inshore situations at the moment we've talked about it the last three or four weeks it's a real pelagic theme as we're getting into the back part of February and of course next week the 1st of March in on Wednesday but there's black marlin in a coastal strip here uh, fish really close that little artificial reef that's out of Swansea at the moment there's been a few black marlin around that uh, basically with the the structure of the yellowtail that are there and look yellowtail in our neck of the woods with your live baiting offshore are very very good for black marlin you don't necessarily have to get slimes because we do suffer that situation where we don't get a whole lot a lot of bonito coastly and of course a lot of marlin crunching in through some of these bonito schools in close and some of the bonito little tackers only around about sort of 10 inches in length at best so there's a lot of bait on offer we're seeing quite a few watson leaping bonito getting caught not only offshore but in on blacksmith's breakwater and stepping back inside swansea channel uh, both tides are working all right in swansea channel but i do think probably the run in tide would be preferred the offshore bottom fishing is quite quiet guys there's not lots of snapper out there couple of trag but there are some really nice mull away if you've got the time to do some live bait fishing but again no doubt you will encounter some of these small black marlin if you're fishing with live bait the beaches been a few tail around on the beaches and we're going to start to see that now getting into this back part of february heading into march starting to see some nice tailor move in afternoons probably the preferred but they'll start to switch around where you actually if you start to get them morning and afternoon been quite a few school mull away along our part of the beach up here blacksmiths into belmont beach but getting some reports up around stockton as well and these fish getting caught for the guys that are targeting whiting and brim using worms so look plenty of school mull away around another harbour we had a bit of a fresh as we all know six to eight inches of rain only a couple of days ago so look there's going to be a little bit of a flush in the harbour that might also help that mull away situation in newcastle but it will definitely benefit what's going on in our beaches and i really do think that what it's going to physically do here, it'll start to move some flathead down out of our estuary system here and down through the channel because what's really happened on the back part of that spawning situation, the flathead have gone a bit dull in. When we get into March and we get these little bit of rain events over the next few weeks, we'll probably see a lot more of these fish move down the channel and swing out onto the beaches and onto the backs of the reefs because I know the flathead fishing hasn't been great. There are still some squid around, of course. Murray's, there's been a few. Up at the drop over there's been some and definitely in the channel but again we've got to be a little bit cautious because squid numbers have been well down and i do think it was a result of that freshwater flood rain that we had last march so when we're getting our squid we just want to sort of stick to the bag limits if we can and go a little bit easy on them we just want to pulverize them and then but really there'll be probably no squid left at all if we keep on going too hard on them be mindful of it there's plenty of good kingies in the lake down rigging with live squid preferred even live yellowtail because again you can snip on and out to the artificial reef to get a few of these yellowtail. Burn a few mull away and whiting. There's been quite a few whiting now on surface, and in particular, 
if you've got a boat or a kayak and you can get out on these flats at that low tide early in the morning would be perfect just working those flats and working those edges for a few of those really nice sand whiting. Some of these fish up around about that 40-42 so some really quality fish amongst them. A few travelling brim also in our estuary at the moment that is a sure sign that we're starting to move in to our autumn theme and of course have the autumn equinox coming through on the 21st of March so guys summer is nearing a conclusion. Still a few crabs around but again you'll just have to move around. All in all guys a great weekend coming up uh, perfect weather and it, I just think that bit of rain might have spiced it up. The estuary is looking good and if you're going to get offshore I still think that pelagic activity is the way to go. Interclub at Port Stephens obviously starts today and into Saturday and Sunday and of course next week another tournament out of uh, Lake basically coastally which are called All Ports and we'll have an opportunity to fish uh, with Lucas Stansfield and the crew out of Swansea for a couple of days. Give you an update as we roll into next week. Have a great day. See you then.